This is Paul Gordon of iState.tv, and this is your iPoll Daily Report for Monday, November 13, 2017. On today's iPoll Report, we look at the tweet life of a not-so-funny comedian named Chelsea Handler, or a lesson in how to get owned on Twitter in one easy step. It's Chelsea's Hand- Chelsea Handler's sex abuse tweet backfires. Bigley. That's right. Bigley. So Chelsea took her brave self to Twitter, bracing herself to boldly declare that, yes, she too is against sexual assaults, rape, and all that stuff. I know. I know. I know. You're shocked, right? Much brave. So courage. Chelsea declared in a tweet, Imagine being molested by an older man. Then that man denies ever doing it and then goes on and gets elected to the United States Senate. What kind of message does that send to young girls everywhere and men to all the men who abuse women? I fixed her quote for her. With the, if you're watching the video, you can see the, the meme here. Imagine being molested by an older man, then that man denies ever doing it and becomes a powerful Hollywood producer. What kind of message does that send to young girls everywhere? It's pretty much going to be the uh, heart of uh, what we're going to be talking about here. Now, hey, yeah, now, to be sure, what she said in her tweet, absolutely that would suck. I mean, screw that guy, right? She is, of course, referring to Roy Moore, who may or may not be guilty of the charges being leveled at him by four women. And if true, well, yeah, that guy, that guy is for the major sucking, right? Right? I mean, am I right? Am I right? Now, if Chelsea wasn't Chelsea if she didn't have the rich history of being what some might describe as a sex abuse enabler. Hey, hey, I'm going to go ahead and go with that. That tweet might be bravely held up as another fine example of the moral courage of Hollywood standing up against evil. Bravo. Tears would well up and we would say to ourselves, this This is why they're better than us. This is why we should take their moral and political advice. They just get it. Now, don't forget. There. Don't forget to check out the article this report is based on, which should be appearing at the uh, right-hand corner there. Uh, It's from mystate.tv. And uh, it'll be on the upper right-hand corner if you're watching YouTube and if you're watching Facebook. It'll be in the description above there. So it, it 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 turns out that there was someone who had a powerful story to tell, a story that was not just ignored by the Chelsea handlers of the world, but one that was ridiculed. That story was by Juanita Broderick. And the story she told was about being allegedly raped by Bill Clinton the darling of the status progressives and husband to their other darling and failed presidential candidate. I really like saying that candidate Hillary. I hate at least half the country, but don't understand how I effing lost Clinton. So Juanita Broderick tweeted back to Chelsea. I can't imagine. I was raped by the Arkansas AG who then became Gums governor president. And NBC held my interview explaining the rape until after his impeachment hearing. But I'm sure he don't want to go there. Needless to say, Chelsea doesn't want to go there because people like her have no real care or concern for real victims. They only see opportunity to exploit victimhood. Even if they had to invent it from nothing to nudge people towards their highly controlling, highly oppressing, state-worshipping, dictator-dreaming, statist, progressive waves. There was, there was one more tweet that came at Chelsea that spoke even louder of the hypocrisy of this self-righteous, morality police, language cop, 
thought controller wannabe in hackneyed comedian's clothes. And that tweet came from the gay patriot, who simply said, Hmm, tell us more. While displaying a picture of Chelsea Handler, nuzzled right next to the man who who seems to have started off the whole frenzy of sexual allegations, Harvey Weinstein himself. To say that Hollywood, including Chelsea, didn't know what a sexist, molesting, and possibly raping piece of proverbial this guy was this harvey heinstein guy is to deny all the rumors that have been floating around hollywood for years around this guy but harvey harvey made you money and you got connections from harvey so yeah yeah chelsea wasn't so concerned about the struggles of women facing sexual predators as she is now you see this time the predator in the crosshairs, alleged, is a Republican running for Senate. And destroying him means getting one of her kind in the seat of power, the kind of controlling, highly oppressing, state-worshipping, dictator-dreaming statist progressive that reflects the true values of Hollywood. I want to say a, a last note here. This video is not at all about defending Roy Moore. I, I, I don't, I, I, I mean, uh, I, I haven't dug deep into, you know, who, 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 or what, and why. It, it, I'll just say that the little that I have seen, I, it doesn't look good for Roy Moore. It looks highly, highly questionable, I'm going to say. So this isn't about Roy Moore. This is about Chelsea Handler and her high-handed hypocrisy. My name is Paul Gordon, and this has been your iPoll Daily Report from iState.tv. Be sure you like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iStateTV and select See First in your news feed under the follow tab. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure you subscribe to us at youtube.com slash iState. Hit that big red subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell right next to it to get daily notifications when we post new videos.